So hey. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we're here with Jim Christopher. Jim, thank you for stopping hey, by. Jim, I really appreciate it. Stopping by. Yeah, my pleasure. And um, we're going to be talking uh, a whole bunch of geeky stuff here. So uh, l let's kind of get into it. What uh, what brought you here to St. Louis Days of and uh, what are you uh, what are you looking forward to doing here while you're here? Uh, so this is my first time in uh, St. Louis, man. Go ahead, Thanks, man. Um, so I, I've been speaking for about six years now, and um, I kind of got into a rut with the places that I was speaking, and uh, I heard a lot of good things about the day of .NET in St. Louis, so I thought I'd check it out. And so far, I'm remarkably impressed. Uh, it's come together really well, very well managed, so uh, it's a great experience. So, but, um, so I came out here uh, to actually talk about, um, uh, sort of introduce the concept of DevOps to developers. Um, so I, in the last six years, I've been uh, an independent software developer. I've been running my own business, and I've, I've s really made my bread and butter um, being able to go into uh, operations teams and um, <coughs> uh, providing them with solutions that actually meet their needs instead of things that are just easy to develop, you know, for the developer. So, um, so just coming here, introducing that concept. Um, you know, m most developers are familiar with the concept of agile software development, right. and just sort of taking those same concepts and applying them to um, uh, to operations and getting those two teams working and communicating together is really, really what I'm here to talk Which about. Which is difficult because you want to do that in a fast and effective way, but you don't want to sacrifice the quality of it. Correct. Yeah. So I mean, it's all about cycles, right? Um, like in in software development, we talk about iterations and mm -hmm. and operations. They do the same thing, but the the cycles are different. So, um, you know. Developers talk about weeks typically. Like you, you do Scrum or you do sure. Agile iterations, and, you, and you're, you're releasing every couple of weeks. Well, operations has two scales. There's one that's like a micro scale, like literally, like we have to change out the server, but the website can't go down. So we need a way to keep this active for the 30 seconds that it's going to take to make the switch over, right? So there's that cycle, and then there's like the the longer cycle of the longevity of the servers, the longevity of the hardware, and and keeping the entire system up and running. So. Um, that's really keep, keeping all of those cycles in mind um, when you're when you're talking between the two groups is kind of the, the, the key there. Right. Yeah. So how how do you pull that off? Well, it's it's uh it, it's that's a what they pay me for. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right, yeah. Uh, uh, so I, I should preface this by saying most of my clients are very small. Okay. So um, it, it makes it a lot easier um, because you're not fighting. Like usually the, usually by the time I get in there they're in trouble. Um, like in fact, the the demo for my talk it was uh, it's based on a, a client I did work for. I came in, and their support backlog was I mean they they estimated years to get through it all. Um, <coughs> that's never something you want to hear in the tech line. Yeah, no, it's nope, no. That yeah. takes years for us. To yeah, yeah, that's that's really bad. Or months. Yeah, months is way too long too. Yeah. So, but you know, going in there and and looking at what the developers had done, it was obvious that that they hadn't thought about. The problem from the operations perspective, they, they were really thinking about. Um, I mean, which is, it's not a bad thing, right? Making things easy for the developer is is a good thing. The problem is the developer is not in a silo anymore. You right. know, they're, they're the the whole team has to work together. Um, operations and development have to work together to to get the product out the door and working. So, um, so revamping the tool set so that it, it works in a way that <coughs> actually solves the problems that they're facing on a day to day basis in operations is, is really where. Um, that's when they that's when they drag me in is when the, they recognize that problem. So. Okay. It's easy to be Superman. It's yeah, it, it's easy to walk in and be the hero, right? So, uh, so what are the top two things that you need to tell developers about DevOps to actually and and their benefits? Um, so I guess the top two things uh, that you would tell developers about DevOps. So it's um. I mean the most important thing is that it's a team effort. Like a lot of people when they talk about DevOps, it's they think of it as like a position. Right, which is kind of like saying, "What do you do for a living?" It's like, "Well, I'm I'm an agile." Right, it doesn't make any sense. Yeah. So, th the the main concept behind DevOps is is not so much, you know, what what are you going to get out of it, but what do you what do you have to put in to get it working? And it's a lot of communication. It's a lot of sharing ideas, and getting the, both teams, the development and operations, using the same terminology, um, uh, and and really both of them understanding the business problem and how their roles. Making the software and getting it working on the on the hardware uh, are are going to play into that. Um, so I mean that. So I guess that's the the big one is the communication piece. You know, making sure that um, that both teams are are involved in each other's uh, 
business. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're yeah, so that they're talking. Life cycle. Business, yeah. You know. yeah, or life cycle. You could say life yeah. cycle too. Life cycle works. That, that works as well. So, yeah. uh, so that being said, um, what typically is the DevOps piece doing for a developer then? Um, so, like, what is the developer getting out of it? Yeah. Yeah, what's the benefit? Um, okay, so here's here's a probably the classic example is when um, when you under tool operations mm -hmm. um, as a developer, then they're just going to come back to you and say, we can't get our job done, mm -hmm. we need to talk more, right? Which is now eating up your cycles as a developer. If you can get the tooling right uh, the first time through, um, an operations team worth their salt will be able to run with it. Very true. And so now you're you know you're back in the green field basically, mm -hmm. which is where most developers like to spend their time. So. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. yeah that, that's really cool. Then. So uh, other than your own stuff, which is awesome, what are you looking forward to uh, sessions-wise? Are you going to pop in on anybody? Yeah, so honestly, um, I try to, when, when I come to one of these things, I try to go to, th to things I know absolutely nothing about. Um, nice. Well, yeah, so uh, like I was just, uh, before I came here, I, I dropped into like a, uh, it was an introduction to SharePoint development, which is not something I'm interested in doing. At all. Or, yeah. yeah. At all. Um, <laughs> But I want to see what it's like because right. there's a lot of people who do it, and yeah. it's good to understand what they're going through. You know, mm -hmm. right. yeah, definitely. Um, Where their pain points are. Well, exactly. Yeah. Some of those things in the future. Exactly, yeah. and you know, and that's honestly that's where a lot of great ideas come from is just looking at what other people are doing and saying, why are you doing it that way? Right. Um, you know, there's an easy way over here. Yeah, there is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> two, room, two rooms down. We'll, we can talk about the easier idea. Right. Um, yeah. Uh, so. So uh, that, that's that's my goal right now is just to find the things I know I know very little about and to sit in on those. Um, also, I've I've just been having fun walking around and looking at all the vendors. Man, there's some really cool stuff here in St. Louis. Sure. Man, yeah. I'm really uh, I'm kind of impressed. And this um, is one, uh, one of the better conferences in the Midwest yep. for for the size. Yeah, yeah it right really is. Where we met up last year. Yep. Nice. So. Nice. So I get the impression that there's um sort of a growing startup community in St. Louis. It seems to be like hockey sticking. You know. Yeah. Do you, would you guys agree or is it? My uh, off. Yeah, wholeheartedly. Yeah, good. Yeah, wholeheartedly agree. We have uh, a lot of commitments downtown mm -hmm. uh, for building out new spaces nice. and new co co-working spaces, new incubators, new all of that. Nice. So uh, we're very excited to see what uh, what comes out of St. Louis and, and working with our awesome sponsors, tech tech footprint. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Staff those people. Yes. No, um, but uh, the, the other thing I wanted to ask you was uh, like plural site stuff. Mm -hmm. um, Yep. Plural site uh, and all the stuff that's going on there. Local story, St. Yeah. Louis is really cool. Um, but where can people find out more about you and what you do uh, and, and, and all that sort of thing? So um, I, I, the easiest way to get a hold of me, if you want to know what I'm doing, is uh, to follow me on Twitter, uh, Beefarino on Twitter. Um, and um, I'm not going to apologize for anything that I say on there. Uh, so <laughs> you don't have to. Yeah, <laughs> I know. It's right? it's, it's yeah. 140 characters it's disappears in the ether. Um, yep, exactly. So yeah, so that's that's kind of the easiest way to, to follow me around and see what I'm doing. Um, but in terms of, of what I do on a sort of on a, a yeah, I guess I guess my blog uh, beefyco.com. Uh, I I just write about kind of anything that's happening in my life there. So like right now, uh, like I'm in between jobs as you mentioned. I'm starting with Plural Side on Monday. I'm very excited about that. Um, uh, but I've got I've got a couple of posts about that transition. You know, which is I mean it is a career shift and it's kind of exciting to move. Uh, you know, sort of from out of out of being the code monkey and into you know helping people. Yeah. Code monkey. Code monkey. Code yeah. monkey. Yeah. Um, into a more physical role. Well, yeah, well, into more of um, it's more of a uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, enabler, I guess. Okay. Um, you know, I I love teaching, um, and this is actually helping people be better teachers on, and it's all around yeah. technology. So. Yeah, which is really cool. Yeah, yeah. So I, I'm I'm gonna dig it. I think. Cool. Yeah, my pleasure, guys. Really appreciate it. And, and come by our code cast. Come on the show sometime. Yeah, my pleasure. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Absolutely.